Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games back with a true classic this evening. This is, as you can see, the original 1978 Space Invaders by Midway. Uh, Tato designed this game, but Midway put it out in America, and that's what this is, the American version. Check that out. Now, this one is not the nicest condition one I've ever seen. It's a little rough. So we got it in in this condition, and we thought, well, we got to save it. Now, a lot of people would part out a game like this. Ugh, I can't even stand the thought of that. Who could kill something like this? So we fixed it up as best we could, and it will live on. It's uh, 40 years old now, or almost 40 years old, so check it out. This is a cool cabinet. I just did a video of a Space Invaders Deluxe not too long ago, and I was showing you that on the side. Uh, it's a little different. Of course, the Space Invaders Deluxe is red, and this part right here is different. On, this, on the original Space Invaders, it's a two-part side, and on Space Invaders Deluxe, it's a one-part side. But uh, these were kind of famous for their artwork. They had great art all over them. This one, again, is not in the greatest of shape, but it is still something special. One of the most popular games ever. Really changed the way... Uh, Arcade games were designed. Look at that. Very iconic side art there. And this is a plywood cabinet that's painted. Um, I don't know if they, st I guess they stenciled it. They may have, uh, I don't think it's silk screened. I think they just sprayed it on. Put the invaders there. This side over here, part of it's been repainted, so it looks a little better, but it's because it's been repainted. You can see the color's not quite right. So cool. And on the front, you got this one big invader. Now since this thing was kind of rough anyway, we left this sticker. We usually take these off. But we left this one. It says distributed by a New Orleans novelty company. Now distribu distributed usually means uh, you know, that's not the operator, that's the distributor. So that would have been the the place that this was uh, distributed out of. So New Orleans Novelty Company, which I suppose would have happened in 1978. 3030 uh, North Arnold Road. How do you pronounce that? Materi? Materi, Louisiana, 70002. I'll let one of my Cajun people pronounce that for me. And there's their old telephone number. Who knows if they're still around? They may be. Um, this is the Midway version. There was a Tato version, too. I say Tato. A lot of people say Taito. I just can't get down with the folks. Tato. Uh, there was Tato designed it, and then uh, Midway distributed it in the United States. And uh, also designed this cabinet and designed the uh, the actual uh, PCB board. It was different than the uh, Tato version as well. The art on the bezel is pretty nice. It's a, this is a glass bezel. Um, the paint's been touched up on the reds those fade a lot so that's been repainted you got like your moonscape here ten points twenty points thirty points and it's a mystery what the UFOs were one bonus laser awarded at a thousand points check that out you can see a little bit of the the reflection thing going on in there like it does. We'll show you that a little better whenever I set up the camera. All right, let's. there's the control panel. Let's read over the instructions. Notice it's very minimalist to all you children out there. Not much going on. <laughs> Laser-based control. Defense instructions. Insert coin. Select one or two players. Two players alternate play. To move laser base right or left, press the control buttons. <laughs> Game ends when players' laser bases are all hit by invaders' missiles or when invaders overrun the base. So basically, if they get to the bottom of the screen before you shoot them, they've overrun the base. Very cool. Now, one of the coolest things about Space Invaders, of course, is how it sounds. So uh, I'll turn it up a little bit. It might be buzzing a little bit, but we'll... Uh, We'll get it loud enough that you can hear all of it in its thumping glory there. I think there's two or three sounds. <laughs> Actually, there's five or six, but still.
pretty primitive. Um, but I'll set up the tripod and we'll play it a little bit. Be back in just a second. Check out how great that backlight looks. That yellow moon is like a piece of plastic and there's a light bulb behind it, a black light, uh, that reacts with the the art on the cardboard behind it where you can see like the, the space and everything and so it just illuminates the inside of the cabinet and then you're looking at a mirror that's reflecting the monitor that's that's down there. Um, and there's some little uh, there's some little green overlays on the monitor that make part of it green but it's it's down there so you it, and see there's an orange one on this guy. Very cool. Very primitive but very cool. Play Space Invaders. Score advanced table. Just one of the coolest looking cabinets and monitor setups ever. Ever. So let me try to put a credit on it here. If I can reach it. All right. Here we go. So one of the little tricks is if you shoot one whole uh, column like I did there, it takes them longer to get to the edge, which means that they come down slower because when they get to the end, you know, they turn around and come back at you. Got them. So see, it takes them farther. They have, they have to march farther to get across the screen which means that they come down slower. So now they really got to march a long way across the screen. Gotcha. So once it gets down to this, I just try to like get rid of the low guys. And again, I am no expert at Space Invaders. <laughs> I'm sure there's a much better way to play than I do. You can count your shots too. After a certain number of shots is when the uh, ship comes out, the UFO. Oh, about got me. rid of this guy before they start coming back across that'll help okay there we go I'm pretty good at oh they got me I was about to say I'm getting pretty good at shooting those UFOs doesn't matter though if they're blowing you up at the bottom of the screen Once they get that low, it's a lot harder to dodge the the bullets.
Whoop, missed one. But well, that guy there's trigger happy. Hmm. I don't know, folks. They're getting they're getting awful low. That's right. Now what? Well, you can't get that guy unless you shoot through the barrier. See how much lower they are? But one thing is your bullets are faster since they're so low. left folks <laughs> oh, oh man oh mm, mm, mm. I did pretty good though 3090 <laughs> By pretty good, I mean good for me. I don't mean good for you. So I don't want to hear any heckling out there. We'll try one more time. too close got the UFO anyways I guess if you got good enough you could actually shoot the missiles as they come down at you I don't know if you can shoot them the whole way oh I think you just have to be dead on it. If you miss to the side a little bit, they go by it and hit you anyway. for the UFO. Oh man, my timing's way off. Cool people, not cool. get this low with that many because it's a lot harder to 
once they start going like that. Whew! Look how low they are! Oh no! Mm. Went right through the barrier. Try not to look at the top of the screen where I'm shooting because I don't want to get hit at the bottom of the screen like that. Oh well, well there we go, folks. 2,400 that time, isn't that pathetic? There's the monitor if you want to check out how that works. Watch out the Y is upside down when he comes out and shoots it. Alrighty. Well, there you have it. That's Space Invaders. Now, by the time you see this video, this beautiful Space Invaders may have marched onto someone else's home game room. May not even be available for sale anymore. But don't fret. We have tons of games for sale. You can check them out on our website. Go to lionsarcade.com. No matter when you're seeing this, even if it's years from now, that's the one where he shoots it. He shot the extra C. Um, even if it's years from now, check out our website. All of our games will be up on there for sale. You can see what we've got available right now. We usually have 40 or 50 games in. Um, and if you're local, come by and see us. We're in downtown. Oh, our website is lionsarcade.com. Now, if you're near us, come by and check us out. We're in downtown Rock Hill, South Carolina, which is about 15 minutes south of Charlotte, North Carolina. And we've got a showroom here just full of games for sale. Now, if you're not local, say so you can't come by, and you don't want to go to our website because you're not going to buy a big old arcade game for your house. You don't know what you're missing out on, but that's fine. Just check out our uh, videos here on YouTube. Subscribe to us. And every time we get a, another game in, a cool one like this, we will film a video and put it up for all of our YouTube fans. So uh, we will see you next time. Subscribe below.